no, 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 no. Click, 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 click. Okay, okay. Okay, so, you may not think I could kill him with snowballs, but that's where you're wrong. Check that out. Freaking smashing him. I'll probably be fine. I, I got this. I got this. Okay. Uh, hold on. Seven more. And... Nope. <laughs> uh, not enough snowballs. Alright, guys, so... <laughs> if you couldn't guess from that, uh, basically what we're dealing with is a custom damage uh, modifier, which will let you create custom damages, you know, hurt enemies however you want. Uh, maybe you want to deal one damage per snowball, maybe you want to deal a hundred, I don't know. Uh, what are they doing over there? What the hell? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so maybe you want to deal one damage, maybe you want to deal a hundred damage. Um, but this is just in basic how you deal custom damage amounts to any enemy in the game. You can specify what ones you want, what ones you don't want. That's all good, but the uh, what can I say? technique is the same. So there's two things that we have to use here that are complicated execute things, a little bit more advanced. Um, there is execute store in a scoreboard and store in a data, and you kind of go back and forth, and that's a good way. Uh, you, you do that with a lot of things. Uh, sometimes you want to, um, so the theory is that you get the entity data, of something and you store it on a scoreboard then you mess around with it play with it and then put it back where you came from uh, which is exactly what we're doing here so we do execute store result score and then let's do at e um, type equals uh, chicken all right and then we will store their h uh, health right and then we will run and this is where we grab their data. Data get entity uh, at s. Uh, if we change it to, if we go like this, and we go as at the beginning, then we can use at s here for all the rest, which is cool. So as means now they're the player. So anytime I use at s, it's, it's referring to the chicken. And then get their data, and you want to grab their health. So health is their data. So you go like that, and it grabs base. What it'll do is it puts their data on the health on the scoreboard. So let me put it on the sidebar. All right. So mine says negative one, but if I go like this and I power it, it'll put a chi it'll grab a chicken and put their health on the side as their score. So let me put a chicken. Uh, where the hell is the chicken? There he is. All right. Cool. So if I put the chicken down and then I activate that, it says four. That means that the chicken has four health, which is two hearts. Okay. Then we grab that. Now we need. Now let's say we want to do two damage to this chicken, exactly two. So what we would do is we would remove two from their score and then put their score back in their data. So we're going to do store result. Instead of storing the result, we're storing it on a score. We're storing it on an entity. And by entity, it means the data. Uh, then at s would be back to the chicken. Path is this health, which is says their health. And then the type is going to be whatever it needs to be for health it's float but uh, the different type to figure out what type you need to do you need to do slash data get entity at e type equals chicken comma limit equals one so that it only picks one so you can figure out by these letters so here is where's health health is going to be somewhere here health says 4.0 f f means float so try and keep it consistent l means long s means uh short i think or second short and then b is byte and um, d is double d is used for like coordinates so you know just try and make sure that you're consistent with your data types so we are storing something on its health score and what are we storing Oh, we're storing it by a scale of one. What are we storing? We are going to store the scoreboard result after we remove health. So scoreboard players remove at s health two. So what this is going to do is it's going to first we're going to go to the run and we are going to remove two health from their score. So now their score is back to two. Then we're going to store that two onto the health score. So now the chicken has two on their health, and if I do it again, it will kill the chicken because zero means it's dead. So, two-step process. One is you store the health on a scoreboard. The second is to manipulate the health and then put it back onto the health data tag, um, which is all that does, and it's dead. And that now, these commands will be in the description. 
you can copy them and all you have to do is change this number at the end here to manipulate how much damage something does. Um, cool little trick would be to do operations. So scoreboard players operation at s health equals and then you can use some kind of like the player at p damage if you had a damage score. So then you can you make it variable. So depending on if their damage is supposed to be 10, then it will do 10 damage to their health. If their damage is supposed to be six, it'll do six damage to their health. And I use that for my gun system. Depending on what gun you're holding, it has a different damage value that you can do. So you don't have to retype the custom amount that you wanted for your, um, so you don't have to retype the number that you want here each time. And it just makes your code cleaner. But yeah, so those are the two basic commands. Now, a little extra way that you can manipulate them is what I did here with the snowball. And this is just, it's the exact same thing. The only difference is I'm changing the selectors like I'm changing what we pick. So here we go. We execute at the snowball, at a snowball. And then we make the player of the command some zombie that's around it, right? Some zombie, one zombie, only one of them, the nearest one. And it's somewhere around the snowball within a radius of three. And then we do, then we grab their health, and then we pick the exact same zombie, since it does it in the same tick, and we will remove two. So it's the exact same thing going on as before, except we first execute at the snowball, and then we execute as a specific zombie that's nearby. Um, a good thing to also do with this is to add extra types. So it's type equals not item underscore frame will make it so it doesn't pick item frames, right? Um, so you can add extra type things to that so it doesn't pick things that you don't want there to want it to be picked. Like maybe you don't want it to kill villagers or armor stands, so you can single those out. Um, that was it, guys. Sorry if it seemed a little low energy. I haven't made a video in like a week because I moved into my new apartment. So yeah, that was that to that was a whew, a whole saga, but um, everything's good now. Hopefully, I'll have some more things coming out. Also, working towards releasing the server and everything soon. So hopefully, you guys like that and hopefully you can use that in your own things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.